so this is the wig take some of this nope skirt no it was triggity triggity trash okay i thought that i was doing something by getting the little knockoff version of the extreme gel that should be seeing everybody use yeah i was at dollar tree and i had got that because i don't think at the time like the beauty supply store near me was open but yeah it was trash and i didn't even end up using it so i started off by parting out some hair that i thought i would want to be the baby hairs this wig is a cute little water wave, so I want to do like more baby hairs than I usually would. So I'm going to take a section from the hair that I had parted off, and I'm going to use this little eyebrow razor. Um, you can use some scissors if you like, just make sure you cut at like a jagged kind of angle, because like nobody's baby hairs is like that straight like that, like straight cut like that. I mean, if they are, then you know, you don't got baby hairs, sis, you got adult hairs, okay? I've seen plenty of people look good with their adult hairs, but adult hairs on a wig is not cute. It gotta go. So then I'm gonna take my soft bristle toothbrush. You can use a little edge brush if you like, but I just had a brush. So yeah, I'm gonna just do that just to see how it lays with no product though. Do not add product yet. Yeah, y'all, I plucked the crap out of that little side right there. Like, it's okay, though, because, like, you know, it's going to look good at the end because all you got to do is just pull some hair down and it'll cover it right up. So, yeah, you just want to brush it slightly. Like, you know, like, nothing too rough because you don't want to accidentally lift your lace up. So, yeah, at this point, I just ended up using my foam wrap. You know, my girl Nairobi, she always had me laying down nice. And then I even fixed where you could see that bald spot at. Like, I just pulled some hair down. And then when I have my baby hairs in the spot that I wanted at, I take a little bit, just a little bit of the black tube of the got to be, and that'll literally hold it in place. I do suggest that you should pluck a unit. Like, if it does come pre plugged you know, that's good. You know, um, this way did come pre plugged but I do suggest to pluck your units because I feel like it definitely does look better to have it plucked. To me, a non-pluck unit with baby hairs be looking synthetic as hell. It's just me. So yeah, plucky units. So I do like a swoop and hold motion. Like I'll swoop it with one hand and then hold it with the other hand just because I don't want it to fall out of place. So notice that I am going in to pluck a little few of those strands out just because when I swoop it, it will be like a little too thick, like a little thicker than my licking, you know, because if the baby hairs are like too thick, they kind of be looking a little uh, to me. But just a little bit, you know, don't pluck too much off that you don't even have nothing to swoop it with. Like you want a nice little cute swoop. So don't pluck too, too much off. This is my first time doing like a swoop like this because like I was going for like a no part. Like I just want to do like a flip over like for this uh, type of hair and it came out really nice. I liked it. And you know when you first lay it down it might not look the way that you want it to look but if you just keep on you know playing with it you'll get it to look nice. Also practice makes perfect because like literally this is the first time that my baby hairs look pretty decent. I've been trying to do some baby hairs for like the longest time since I started wearing wigs and I'm just starting to get alright at it. So yeah, just take some time. Practice makes perfect. So this is how the baby hairs look, y'all. If you are interested in this hair, I will link it down below, all the information. At the time of this recording, I am at 69 subscribers, so my sub goal is 100. That means I'm like... 31 away from 100 so if you need to like and subscribe if you are new i would appreciate it and yeah i will catch y'all in the next video